You do have to actually turn on Find My iPhone or iPad uh, before you can actually find it. So let me show you how to do that. Go to Settings and then go to iCloud on the left hand side, tap on that and then you'll see Find My iPad, so turn it on and then turn both of these on and then that's it. And now let me show you how to actually find your iPad if it's lost or stolen. And just a little tip here, when you log on uh, to iCloud it will just say Find My iPhone, but it actually means iPhone or iPad. So you first have to go to www.icloud.com, sign in with your iTunes or Apple ID and your password. So I click on this icon and what will happen is it's going to search for my device and it's going to tell me kind of where it is in a second. I'm going to show you this, um, but remember you have to have your iCloud turned on for the Find My iPad or Find My iPhone. So it's found me here. I just click on this and I click on the I. A lot of people get a little bit confused about this and then it over here it says what do you want to do so if maybe hopefully I just lost my iPad in my house let's say and I click on play the sound can you hear that it will play that and it's pretty uh, obvious that you can go search for that click OK I found it you can also uh, put it in lost mode so if I click on this I can actually say, please call me at my office number, 1-888-587-9062, click next. And you can personalize this or just leave it to say this iPad has been lost, please call me, and done. And then what happens on the device is it'll actually pop up and say that message. So it'll, if hopefully you have a passcode or password on it, it'll lock it. <laughs> Otherwise it'll just put it in sleep mode and put this message on it. Now the third option is to erase the iPad. Now obviously you only want to do this in dire situations. So if we were going to erase the iPad, we would click on erase and it actually would warn me that's good and I totally don't want to do this. <laughs> okay, <laughs> But what it'll do is erase it and with this new from iOS 7 and beyond it actually won't allow anyone to use that because it's registered to you. So that's a good thing. So what have you learned? Please turn on iCloud and then if you ever have issues go to iCloud.com and you'll be able to find your device hopefully.